Hey y'all, it's Yo Ujo, and I am here to, uh, I guess, inform you about a new change that will be coming to Colorado's welfare system, or workfare system as it would be. Um, they are going to start as of January, um, as it was described, making people work the workfare for everyone on the case so in the event that you have children for example or maybe a disabled partner the food stamps that you also get for them you also have to do the workfare for those hours the previous system was you would just have to do the workfare that would um, just be like your part of the food stamps I guess it was like a split in half type of thing but now they're tolling in everything as a whole to do the work for hours for all the food stamps and um, I was also told that they have seen up to over a hundred work for hours be totaled on one person now how they expect someone to be able to find a job so they can get off work fair with putting over a hundred hours on them to work for the food stamps I don't know but apparently someone thinks that this is how the system should work so that's how it is going to work if nothing is said about it now I'm not here to complain I'm not here to you know just just sit back and just say something but not do anything I'm going to see if I can get a uh, comprehensive petition started because I can only express things from my point of view and as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if workfare is a good system, but I do know that the way Colorado does it is a terrible execution of the idea. And I actually researched the uh, history of workfare and what it's come up to now, and not only the United States, but the UK. And the UK definitely has more to be researched. And apparently, um, for what the system is worth, it's not that great a system because for for speaking through my experience, because of workfare, my case has been messed up and there have been months when I have not gotten my stamps that I am on workfare for, that I am working for, because my case was messed up in May of last year and it just simply has not been fixed. And I keep getting charged tickets or sanctions or whatever they're called because my case is messed up back then by them. But because they messed it up and they just didn't fix it, my stamps keep getting turned off. And of course, I keep doing my work fair because I don't know that until I don't get my stamps. And it's really just one big mess. And now they're going to have one well, of the most common victims, single parents or people with disabled spouses do two and three times as much work for their whole workload and of course we're not being told the information of who these people are making these decisions where we can file our more official complaints and such their rather I guess I don't know I'm kind of just talking is a thing that is beyond me but I mean, but I can't be the only one upset about this. So I guess I'm making this to, well, you know, who, what, you, know, you make stuff on the internet to reach out to people. That's why we make stuff we post in public. The internet is its own sense of community. And whereas the anonymity, however that word is pronounced, does bring out a lot of the bad side in people, there are still a lot of good people on the internet. I found them. I know you watching this has found them. And it's wrong the way that they're punishing poor people in Colorado. I mean, when when you do stuff like this, it makes it feel like if these people are on food stamps, they're just not trying to do. So we're just going to make life harder for them. This is going to more discourage people to get on the public assistance, not benefits, public assistance. It's assistance. To be able to be functional while trying to do something with themselves so they can get off assistance. And to have people working up to over 100 hours, how, like I said earlier, how, is, how are you going to be able to fit in a job on that type of thing? Now, it doesn't apply to me because I don't have any disabled partners 
don't have any kids. The only person I have to worry about is myself, so my hours aren't going to change. Well, I'm actually going to get off them because I'm leaving. But for the people who have to stay here and endure that kind of thing, as long as I'm here, I'm still a Colorado citizen, and I have every right to say something about this because it's absolutely ludicrous. And like I said, you can't just, I mean, it's beyond me. You can't just complain when something happens. You have to do something about it. I mean, don't take the brown skin as a form of regression. I'm not suggesting rioting because this isn't one of the things that riot about, the two riot about, just yet. From the way I understand it, rioting is the voice of an underserved people. And I forgot how the official quote ends, but my addition to it is that refuse to be underserved no more. That's how I've end the quote. And I guess it was Martin Luther King. I don't know. But I mean, th things escalate to rioting. It doesn't just happen overnight. So, of course, we start from the ground up. There's petitions. There's people just speaking out in general, like I'm doing right now. Um, because staying quiet about the issue is how it grows into something much worse. And it's not just people on food stamps in Colorado. There are places in Colorado and all over the United States that are making it illegal to be homeless or to feed the homeless. It's becoming illegal to sleep in your car. It's uh, becoming legal to sit in public places, which is also super ridiculous. So we have to do something about so many wars on so many other type of people. And one of those people is the war on the homeless. So please, if you feel encouraged to do something, please do it because it's always going to be the people with the least volume in their voices that are going to get picked on and we can't be silent about this we have to speak up for each other and it's also important to speak up for ourselves but when you've gotten so down that you live in your car that's not going to encourage you to speak because everything that you say is something of a form of biting the hand that feeds to you Dude, you're already living in your car. You may as well just get up on a soapbox and say whatever you want to say because there is no hand that feeds when you are down and out that hard. And I use dude in a unisex term. Please, everyone, speak up and stand out. And um, I guess that's it for now, but I'm sure I'll have more to say on the issue later. Ta-ta.